So first of all, I want to apologize if any of you got any weird notifications today morning because I was trying to private all the live streams and when you click select all under the live stream tab, you'd think that all the live streams would get selected, but apparently no, all my videos got selected. So I accidentally privated my entire channel for about one minute and then I started frantically unprivating it. So sorry if you guys got any weird notifications saying there was a new upload. It wasn't a new upload. Anyway, let us move on. Yeah. What? That made a we- John. Yeah. Of course. That used to make a do- Okay. That's okay. We can live with that. So, as you guys know, I am big into productivity. I have an ultra wide, and I used to have three monitors on the old setup. Now, not everybody can afford three monitors, not everybody can afford an ultra wide, and to be completely honest with you, I could barely afford it at the time. But productivity is still really important. What a lot of us might have is a bunch of old laptops, and that is exactly what I have. And I know that this has been known for a while, but a lot of you might not know about it. So, I'm going to show you guys today how to turn your old laptop screen into an external monitor. And if you had a powerful enough battery bank, you could actually even power this externally. So let's begin. So first of all, what you're going to need is of course you are going to need an old laptop, a screwdriver kit, and a controller board. Now this is what we call an LVDS controller board. This is actually what I used for my BT Young Scientist project back in the day, uh, where we won like second prize or something in the technology category. It's not like, it's not to brag or anything, but there's like tape underneath it. I must have been stupid. Okay, whatever. We're living with the tape. There's, there's tape at the bottom for some reason. Monitors can cost quite a lot if you're not in America. Even you used ones can go for quite a lot. Like the minimum I see around here is probably about 70 to 100 euro. That's just the minimum. And that's for a crappy monitor. And these things, these little controller boards can go for about 20 to 30 euro. And I actually even found a few today morning on eBay for 15 euro. So these are quite a lot cheaper than a brand new monitor. And basically what these do is you get a bunch of buttons. I actually even got a remote control with mine. I don't know where on earth it is. So you can actually control the monitor and connect things to it without having it connected to a laptop. So as you can see here, we have VGA, we have 12 volt power in, we have HDMI, we've got, I don't know what this is, I believe it's called component. Uh, we've got audio in, audio out, USB and TV, just in case you wanted to watch cabled TV on your laptop monitor. I guess if for whatever reason you want to do that, that's an option. Basically, you want to find one. Uh, it's either going to be a 30 pin or a 40 pin. You want to find one that fits your monitor. So let's start taking apart this laptop. Usually, this is pretty simple. Some of them don't even have screws. This one right here, as I can see, actually has two screws at the bottom. So you want to take off like the rubber pads or anything holding the screen together. And we are going to take this apart. Just like that, you can pull off the front bezel by gently lifting it up or not gently. Actually, I seem to have forgotten a screw. This laptop was actually working. So... <laughs> was, it was working, isn't anymore. <laughs> Just tear off the front bezel. You don't want to damage the display, of course. The laptop might be damaged itself, but you don't want to damage the display. This seems to be one of those really annoying ones that has screws absolutely everywhere on the inside. Oh, looks like I already scrapped this one for its webcam. I don't know whether you guys know this, but you can actually take laptop webcams and turn them into USB webcams. Pretty cool. I'm using that on my Octopi right about now. I just stole this laptop's webcam and I'm using it. I threw that onto my razor. That's aluminium. It's going to scratch. By the way, guys, just to make things clear, I know it's not supposed to be pronounced aluminium. I was making a meme. Oh, it came off. Cool, makes my life easier. Oh no, this one has an inverter. That's how old it is. God damn it. I might have to go up into the attic and find a different one. This one has an inverter. Yeah, no, this isn't gonna work. Oh no, okay. Oh, that laptop has an inverter, so we need a different laptop. I'ma go grab one. I'm back from the attic and I have two displays that I found that seem to have a 40 pin LVDS connector. Let's say this is your screen that you've just taken out of your laptop that you don't want to use anymore. And you have your LVDS board. All you do is you take your LVDS connector and you plug it in to the back of the display like so. Just like that. Very, very simple. Very, very easy. Be gentle with it. And there we go. Of course, now you should test it. You should always test. So I'm going to place it up here. I'm going to grab my power cable, which I had prepared and let's plug it in. So the red light is on. I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but the red light is now green and here 
we go. Look at that. I'm gonna zoom in for you guys. No signal. Perfect. That means this is currently working. So let's grab a HDMI cable and why don't we connect it to our computer? One of these is shit, one of these is good. I don't remember which one's which. So let's plug it in and see if it works. And there we go. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys can't see this. It's extremely, extremely dark. The way I would bring the brightness up is you have these buttons here, and all you do is you find the button for brightness. They are actually all labeled, so I'm gonna click menu. Okay, so I, I think I fixed the, the brightness problem. So now when it turns back, okay, check it out. Perfect. So let's try play a YouTube video on it uh, so we can simulate having a live stream going on it in case we were recording. <laughs> Look at that. It's perfect. And look at that. By the way, guys, this is the video on the second channel. If you guys enjoy vlogs, random videos, just like this is actually the video where we just went cooking and we designed the merch. So if you guys are interested in that, we have a merch design that's up on the discord. But yeah, make sure to check out the second channel. It works perfectly perfectly well as you can see here you could have obs going on it you could have uh, your live stream going on it while you were streaming here to see live chat it's perfect because it's really small it's extremely extremely slim and you can make a diy case for it uh, now that i'm seeing this work so really really well i'm actually thinking i will probably keep this i will make a nice case for it and i'll probably like hang it up either up here or up above my monitor because it's so tiny it's so slim and it's so so light to be honest with you all you would need is some double-sided tape to hang it up on the wall or anywhere. Absolutely amazing. And if you wanted to make it portable, you could give it a kickstand and there you go. So many different options you can do with this. So many different options you could have with something that you had no use for because it was an old laptop that you didn't want to use anymore. So many different options. Let's say I was streaming right now, have OBS over on this screen, be streaming on this screen and boom. Or because it's an extended monitor, you could actually have it as a secondary monitor for Premiere Pro, for example. Uh, or you could maybe put it inside your computer as a unique design, show your computer temps, maybe. Just throwing a few ideas out there. That would be pretty cool. I could see that being extremely unique. And all you need is one of these little controller boards. And let me tell you guys, I actually have a second one. Back in the day, I found these things so incredibly useful, I actually got a second one. So I could... Yes, it's still going. There we go. Do never do that again. I could technically grab the second screen and have two right next to each other like that. But yeah, so I actually have two of them. And that's for the price of, well, however much you pay for the controller board. Because the screen you can probably get for free. And I mean, in some cases, this could actually be better than a full blown monitor because this could be portable. Like you could throw this into a bag, take it with you anywhere. And all it needs is it needs 12 volts. And I'm sure you could actually find these LVDS boards that you could just straight up play into a power bank using USB-C. You can totally do that. You can find these LVDS boards that you can just straight up just plug into a power bank, boom, take it with you anywhere, take it to the airport, take it to the plane, stand it up next to your laptop, you're set. You are absolutely set. And to be honest with you, I might actually do that. <laughs> so there you go, guys. An absolutely incredible, incredible little project that there's so many different options for. Like you could do so much with this, so many different things. And depending on what screen you get, you have different sizes, depending on uh, what quality you get again different quality it's tiny it's light it's portable there you go that's all i have to say i mean what else could you ask for oh and it's cheap so you guys this screen was originally 1366 by 768 which is not even full 1080p what i did is i turned on virtual super resolution and boom check this out now you have a screen in 2K. This tiny little thing is now in 2K and you can fit so much on it. It's still fully readable, completely, completely readable, completely works. And now I've turned this cheap laptop, not even 1080p screen into a full blown 2K screen using virtual super resolution. That is absolutely insane. So if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a like. If you guys disliked it, dislike it. But tell me why in the comment section below. If you guys want to join the community, join our discord where we are constantly 
constantly growing community. And there's lovely people there. We help each other out. We talk about literally anything. So make sure to join that. Uh, join our Reddit. I want to see you guys posting your spicy memes so that I can review them in a future video. And yeah, this is going to be it, guys. So once again, if you guys aren't yet subscribed, make sure to slam that subscribe button with your forehead. Follow me on my social media here and here. Ding my bell and see you again in the next one. Peace.